You know, we are living in very interesting times today, when the possibility of walking into a motorcycle showroom and riding a 200 horsepower superbike is no longer an unattainable dream or something out of reach like supercharged, purely racing specimens. If only there were money. But even against this backdrop, the idea of a machine with a 690 cubic centimeter engine, 220 horsepower, and weighing just 129 kilograms that you can go out and buy seems a bit far-fetched. But that's what the Creighton CR700W is, thanks to its advanced rotary engine, by the way. Unique among modern motorcycles. Essentially, the Creighton CR700W is the ultimate evolution of the Norton 588 racing motorcycles, which led Steve Hislop to victory in the senior TT races in 1992 on the Isle of Man, and also propelled athletes like Steve Spray, Trevor Nation, and Ian Simpson to championships in the UK from 1989 to 1994. Brian Creighton, a three-time British champion in the 50cc class, was the mastermind of the Norton team then. They took advantage of a loophole in the rules that simply did not account for the ability of rotary engines to generate immense power from a small volume. Notice how effortlessly the riders on the Black Nortons outpaced their competitors on the straight sections. Ray and Ray Stringer on the Nortons, and Steve Spray goes through, there's the RC Hunter, but look at the Norton go, and there goes the second one. Well, there the Nortons go through to take the lead in the race of aces, but a lot of smoke coming out of that volume. The power of the rotary engine, despite all its advantages of being smaller, lighter, and capable of higher revs, had its own limitations in the form of extremely low reliability. But technology has come a long way, and although rotary engines may not have a place in the electric future, Creighton has developed a sports motorcycle that serves a broader purpose today. For the last 12 years, Creighton has been working with Gil Cardoz, the founders and owners of Rotran Power LTD and the lead engineer Shamoon Karashi on developing a next-gen twin-rotor engine with a volume of 700cc. They used the latest developments, the most advanced materials, and the most modern methods of precision engineering to create the completely new CR700W. With a volume of 690 cubic centimeters instead of the previous 588 Nortons, along with modern material technologies including wear-resistant silicon nitride ceramic seals, the two-section rotary engine has only three moving parts, weighs 24 kilograms, and measures just over 33 centimeters in diameter. Even with the attached six-speed Nova Transmissions gearbox, it weighs only 43 kilograms. Moreover, the rotary engine, due to its compactness, offers better conditions for placement in the frame and can be installed more centrally, providing improved maneuverability and stability in handling. So, so, Brian, it's spinning because it can't get traction. Oh my god. power of the engine at 220 horsepower, accompanied by a huge torque of 142 nanometers at 9,500 revolutions per minute, providing a power to weight ratio greater than that of MotoGP and Formula One engines. For comparison, the most powerful NAF1 engine from Bolito Ferrari develops 309 HP per liter at an insane 18,500 revs per minute and the latest MotoGP bikes produce about 300 horsepower per liter. The power of the CR700W is equivalent to 319 horsepower per liter, just imagine. The engine retained a unique racing technology developed by Brian, which can be translated as an exhaust ejector. It increased engine efficiency based on the Venturi effect. I've already provided more details on this in one of my earlier stories about the production Norton F1. You can click on the hint at the top right. Creighton says that special attention was paid to the gearbox, which is known to be problematic due to additional stresses when connected to rotary engines. Nova Transmissions have developed a six-speed gearbox with a slipper clutch. The chassis will look familiar to anyone who has seen the later generation of Norton rotary racing motorcycles from the 90s, with the same frame and swing arm as the originals made by Spondon. It is made of 7000 series aluminum, 
The motor oil reservoir is integrated into the main longerons for additional weight reduction, and triple clamps for the front fork are available with various offsets according to the driver's preferences. The fairing, meanwhile, resembles the Norton NRV 588, a brief revival of the rotary idea that emerged in 2009 and was initially intended for participation in TT races. expanded concept also allows adjusting the swing arm pivot angle. Among other components, the wheels are made of carbon fiber, with a choice of U-lens or B-tube suspension, as well as Brembo brakes that meet MotoGP specifications. Creighton said, In many ways, the CR700W is the culmination of my career and embodies the best of my engineering experience. And I believe that, as a consequence, the ideal racing motorcycle was brought into existence. Alex Head, Chief Executive Officer of Rotor and Power, adds, the CR700W is a unique motorcycle masterpiece and a true work of art, born out of Brian's passion and genius. Surpasses any other motorcycle engine globally in power, whether Road Ducati Superleggera 54, track-focused BMW HP4, even supercharged Kawasaki H2R left behind. The characteristics speak for themselves, however, despite the numbers, this is far from the high-strung racing engine that will require to be overhauled after every race event. Instead, thanks to the relatively low speeds for a rotary engine, materials with ultra-low friction coefficients, and unique internal geometry, it amazes with its reliability. The engine's structural components are cast from a high-strength aluminum alloy LFM24 and processed at the factory. All wearing surfaces of the engine are coated with molybdenum and nicosyl, providing lightweight, low friction, and high durability. The main eccentric driveshaft is made of cryogenically stabilized steel alloy EN36. In other words, it will confidently last a full season before requiring internal inspection. Impressive engineering figures naturally continue with the impressive price of the CR700W. In the United Kingdom, this track machine, not intended for road use, starts at £85,000. At today's rates, this is just over $116,000. And only 25 units will be hand-assembled by Crichton himself based on Rotran. Although official data remains scarce currently, videos posted on the Crichton Racing page in May of the previous year demonstrate a stripped-down bike on a dynamometer stand, screaming its way into the red zone. A brand new racing motorcycle with a rotary engine was unveiled at an event at the British National Motorcycle Museum on October 30th, 2021. The machine has already attracted a lot of attention, and a certain Peter Hickman responded to a tweet, expressing the assumption that he has no doubt it could become the first sports bike to complete a lap at an average speed of 140 miles per hour or 225 kilometers per hour on the TT track on the Isle of Man, where he currently holds the record. Maybe this is a type of clue. And ultimately, the statements of Mason Law, the champion of the 2020 British Super Cup. Riding the Crichton is a phenomenal experience. The raw power of the motorcycle simply blows your mind. The sensation from this machine is similar to the feeling of leaving the runway in the cockpit of an F-35 fighter jet. It has the power of MotoGP prototypes, but also a torquey twist, 